Hi everybody, it's Risa and Kevin from Hudson Valley Vintage. Welcome, welcome. We have an exciting evening plan for you tonight. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Tonight we're introducing Fusion Mineral Paints, 11 new colors. That's right, 11. 11. How many? 11. Not 11. 10. Not nine, not 10, not 11, not 12. <laughs> 11, 11 new colors. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do tonight is we are going to look at them more closely. We're gonna talk about them. We're painting boards with them. I've already done one coat. Um, we're gonna do a second coat and you know we're gonna see how well each one covers because that's really important. Coverage is really important. And we're also- Take them out for a test run. We're gonna compare them with existing fusion colors. And here's why we're doing that. When they first announced that they were coming out with 11 new colors quite honestly my first reaction and and the reaction of some of my customers was fusion already has so many colors why do they need 11 more colors so we're going to look at existing colors and see what the difference is because i don't want you to think well that's exactly the same as this so let's compare them all right so we're going to see we're going to look at the color we're going to see how many coats it takes to really cover well and we're going to compare them with other fusion colors does that make sense i think it makes sense right mm -hmm. and i want to tell you guys about a contest that we are having at hudson valley vintage so um some of you may know that we are moving our home our hudson valley vintage home um, we're moving back to red hook but we're going to be in the center of the village so we've officially started our countdown we're gonna be moving at the end of the summer and um, we're super excited. So here's what we're gonna do every week. And I, if you miss this in the beginning, I will mention it again at the end and it's gonna be on Facebook and Instagram starting tonight or tomorrow morning. So <clears throat> every week, starting this week, there's gonna be a different contest. So this week's contest, week one, Okay. The countdown contest. Week so one. I'll just read this to you. To enter week one, we want you to tell us in the comments of the post on Instagram and or Facebook. So in other words, if you're on both, you can enter on both. So you're going to tell us what fusion mineral paint color was our, meaning Hudson Valley Vintage's most popular bestseller in the past year. So that's June 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021. If multiple pe people get the answer right, we'll randomly draw one winner. And honestly, I don't know the answer yet. I'm gonna wait to look it up because I don't wanna like secretly give it away. What the winner- your, Like with your eyes or something like a Twitch? You never know. Let me go get the prize. I'll be right back. <laughs> you never know with, or you, I could tell you and you'll tell everybody. All right, so here's the prize. You get a pint of fusion in the color of your choice, and it can even be one of the new colors if you want. You're going to get a Stahlmeister flat 20 brush. Shut up. I ain't kidding. And a container of TSP, okay? So the three, these three together, it's a 49, I think. How do these people stay in business? It's a $49 value <laughs> on, the, on the skin of their teeth. It's a $49 value, okay? So the first contest, the first week, week one, you actually have two weeks to enter because we're not going to draw the winner or announce the winner until August 5th. That's in two weeks because we're I'm taking a week off next week. So... Um, Look for a Facebook. Are you getting another job to help pay for all these <laughs> prizes? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be waitressing and designer. All right, so let's get started. Um, I went to Lowe's the other day and I bought these really great, these are called rosettes. So this would be an architectural. You use them at the top of a door. Detail, but they're the door. great for us in the shop to use as, you know, sample blocks for people to look at. So they're all white. They're primed white. So we're gonna see how well all these colors cover and they're gonna be covering white, all right? So the first color we're gonna look at tonight is called rose water. Mm. And it's a pink color. 
But it's not yeah. crazy pink. No. So I put one coat on. Now, let's see. It did not cover that well over white. So, you know, you should know that. That's our first, that's only the first coat. I do not put heavy coats on because heavy coats take forever to dry. Brush heavy strokes, coats, all you that. You'll get a lot of brush strokes. Heavy coats are not as stable as thin coats. So let's put another coat on. So I am using a synthetic brush. Um, this is just a cheap, Regular. inexpensive brush. And I'm not using a lot of paint. So let's see how the second coat covers. Now, often um, I get messages or calls from customers who will say, I just painted my first coat and it looks terrible. I think I've made a big mistake. And um, yeah. what I tell them is your first coat is not meant to look great. It's your first coat. In almost every single case, now every case is different, but in almost every single case, with fusion, you're only gonna you're gonna need two coats. Average is two coats. Sometimes you need three. Some of the darker, bolder colors that you'd think, like Liberty you know, blue, yeah, like and Renfrew Fort blue. Fort uh, Fort York red, um, are very sheer. Yeah, you you'd think that there's bright, bright, bright colors, but it's not that way. Okay, so this one is rose water, and I'm gonna let this one dry and we'll see if we need another coat. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. All right, now once it dries, that's when we're gonna compare them to the other colors because um, there's really no point to be looking at wet paint. I mean... It's kind of like watching grass grow. Exactly. Now, I have been posting every day, at least once a day, one of these colors with a couple of pictures and comparing it with other paint colors and um, a description of it. So hopefully you've been looking at them. If not, you can go back. Okay, this is cashmere. Cashmere is obviously an off-white. And I'm already covering over white. So cashmere, you know, you'd expect it to have covered decently. Okay. Looks sort of like a marshmallowy color. There are several whites. Initially, I was going to do all the whites together, but I think that's a little confusing. And who doesn't like the name Cashmere? Right? I cert I love Cashmere. Okay. Cashmere is goat wool, for anybody that doesn't know. All right, so let's put our second coat on. Now, my brushes are a little bit damp because I... Um, you know what, I'm gonna have to put another coat on this because my brush is too wet. All right, live and learn. If you're if you're using a brush that you just cleaned, you might want to like... Squeeze the water out of it? Yeah, it's is just... It that, is it that wet? No, it's just there's a little bit of... Do you want me to dry the other brushes while you're doing this? No, I have okay. this towel. Okay. No, but thank you. Okay, so that was cashmere. So I think I'm gonna need another coat on that. But that's not the paint's fault, that's my fault. Okay. All right, what's next? Let's see, something that's not white. All right, so let's look at um, this green color. This is like a sage color and it's called Bellwood. Okay, so let's, so this one, the first coat is like, eh, not fantastic, not the not worst. Not bad. Like you said, it's not meant to cover one coat, so don't Absolutely. don't don't judge it based no. on that. But but you know, there are colors like one that really comes to mind is Homestead Blue. Um, that color is amazing and can often cover in one coat, but that's like a rarity. That color is like a unicorn. So this is covering really nicely with my second coat. And like I said, I don't use a lot of paint. 
because I don't want to get brush strokes. Okay. All right, the next one is Chateau. Chateau is another off-white, sort of with a gray. I'd say it's like a grayish. So I've already done one coat on these blocks, and I wanted you to see what they look like after one coat, and then what they look like after two, because very often when people paint, just about anybody, if you're painting furniture, you know, it doesn't look great after your first coat. Are they, so are there, are the, so there are 11 new colors, are there colors being eliminated? Yes, thank you, <clears throat> honey. Okay. So all of the five Lisa Marie Holmes colors have been discontinued. Okay. So that is Goddess, Goddess Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha which Seriously. Is like my What do I say all the time when I'm like yeah. exasperated? Yeah. What do I say? You live with Goddess me, Ashwagandha. I go, Goddess Ashwagandha. Yeah. I'm like wondering that's the name what you say. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. um I can still say it. And it, it was a super popular color. So actually the Lisa Marie Holmes collection was always going to be a limited collection. It was intended to be for one year, but because it was so popular, I think it lasted two years. So Goddess Ashwagandha is being discontinued. So let's do a blue, okay? This color, now this one covered really well. Look at that one coat. We could almost get by with one. This is called Blue Pine. Now, I'm back ordered on pints right now, but I do have testers in this color. Really pretty. I think people went pretty crazy. I think other um, retailers went crazy ordering some of these colors. All right, blue pine. Yeah, this one is definitely good with two light coats. This co covers really beautifully. This is blue pine. So um, another retailer told me, or actually I saw his post and I asked him about it. What he does is he takes maybe a drill, I don't know, and he drills two small holes in the top of the jar, and then he covers it with painter's tape. And then when he wants to pour some out, he takes off the tape and just pours it out of the hole. What do you think of that? Kevin is speechless. This never happened. So, so, oh, got it. So he never, so the, yeah, the, so the two holes, one's a vent and one's a pouring yeah. one. Yeah. So they must not be tiny, tiny holes. They're big enough, they're big enough holes to actually Please pour. Please use the drill. Yeah. The drill. Wow. What do you think of that? I do kind of like that. Yeah. You save on I, those FIFO bottles. And you, you save on the FIFO. You get every drop. You get every drop. You... Yeah, you drill it close to the rim so you're pouring it all out. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. So we have another light color. This one is called oh. cobblestone. And that's how it covered over the white in one pint in one coat. So let's see. This is a nice gray. I'm already as I as I am painting these, I'm thinking about the colors that I'm going to be comparing them to. Okay. So that's cobblestone. All right, let's look at a blue. So this is like a periwinkle, I guess. Which call that like a periwinkle? So this is called Could mist. Be. And I don't think there's been a color quite like this with Fusion before. Um, and that's how it covered over, it, with one coat over, um, over white. Boy, that is a whitish purple. Yeah. So let's see. All right, we'll see how that covers. That's mist. I think we're more than halfway through. We just, oh, of course I just put my hand in it, so that's not a good, okay. So here is, I only have three left, okay. 
Okay. So, um, here's another blue. This one is called Paisley. And this covered decently too. Not as well as pine, um, blue pine, but it covered decently. Now this lid is like sunken in there. Yeah, that's why I don't like them. I, I always, really I always peel them off. No, it came like that. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah, I don't really feel like digging it out because I'm going to make a mess. And I really think this one's going to definitely cover in just another coat. So this is Paisley, another blue. All right, here's another white, Victorian lace. And this looks like it's a pretty white white. Okay, that looks pretty white. So I know we're gonna be comparing the, this color to... Um, That's not a casement white, is it? Well, we're gonna find we're gonna find that out in a few minutes because we're gonna be comparing it to. It's not a picket fence white. You don't think it's as white as picket fence? Not from where I'm standing. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we got one more, and I think all of these have covered pretty well in two coats. What do you think? So the last one is called eucalyptus. Which what about is, that gray one? Did you do two coats in the gray oh, one? Because no, I, I see white that. on that from oh, over here. Okay, yet. okay. So there's two left. Thank you. Okay. So this is eucalyptus, which is another sagey color. So this is eucalyptus. So this is covering nicely. This is eucalyptus. Very pretty. Sage colors in general are popular because they're so neutral. So that was eucalyptus. And my last one, oh, I just made a mess. That's okay. My last one is um, hazelwood. All right, so this one is called hazelwood, which is very interesting because um, I think depending on the lighting, it can look a little bit brown so it'll be interesting to compare it to several different colors. It covered really well on its first coat, and that's over white. So let's do another coat. Because as I said before, most pa paints in general, think about when you paint your walls, you rarely coat perfectly with your first coat. All right, so this is Hazelwood sort of a I don't know what I'd call it it's like really a cross between a brown and a gray Could we call it gray I don't know all right I just need one more coat on that cashmere because what I did before, what I did before was I used a, a wet brush, like a really wet brush, not damp, and it just made a mess. here and it looks like um, the first one that's drying believe it or not which I didn't paint first is this um, blue pine and I think it's because I put so little paint on it for the second coat so I'm gonna compare now I'm not gonna well we'll see so the first thing that I thought of when I saw this was um, champness which is right here. If you compare it to Champness, which is right here, this is much smokier. And then there's soap, Soapstone. 
So I think those are the two that I'm gonna say are the closest. Let's see, this is Homestead Blue. And um, there's really no other color here. Can you think of? Yeah, that's a lighter one right there. This? Yeah. No, that's a, this is heirloom. Yeah. Yeah. So this is blue pine. This is the new color, okay? So we're looking at champness, heirloom, soapstone, and homestead blue. It's like a grayer version of blue, right? Yeah. So um, if anybody wants to shout out another color, go ahead and do that. But that's how I would compare it. And it does look like it's really new. It's different than the others, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Now that I, you know, I liked it before, but now that I've compared it to the others, I really like it even more. So that's Blue Pine. All right, this one is still a tad wet, but that's fine. And this is rose water. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't have a block for damask. So I'm gonna use this. So that's damask next to rose water. And then I'm gonna look at peony. So it looks to me as though rose water is a little deeper than peony. Peony is a very, very, very pale pink. And then damask, I don't know how- And that's no longer, right? Right. So this one is rose water. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a new pink and it is different than the other two pinks. So I don't think that we could say, well, why rose water? It's so close to Yeah, it's a little, pink. yeah. And the other, the other, you know, the other pink is very pink, you know. This one? Maybe too bright for some people. Yeah. So, so that's rose water. Okay, so that's rose water. Okay, this is kind of fun. Isn't it fun? Yeah. You need, you actually, you know what? We should have done this. We should do this every time they come out with, anybody comes out with We've new colors because anything. this works really well. We've never done anything like yeah, this. Yeah, All right, here is. We Bell might even someday go crazy whole hog and like start comparing colors of different kinds of paint together. Yeah. That would be, be awesome. Yeah. You know. So this is Bellwood. Okay. So I'm going to compare Bellwood to, this is Lichen. Okay. This is Bedford. Now I am going to compare, I was not going to compare any of these to any of the discontinued colors, but I have a couple of customers that are really upset about Sacred Sage. So I just want to compare Bellwood to Sacred Sage and it's very different from Sacred Sage. So if you were hoping for like an exact replacement for Sacred Sage, I don't think it's Bellwood. Hmm. I think it really falls in between Lichen and Bedford. What do you think, babe? Hmm, yeah. Yeah. And so just so everybody knows what you're looking at, um, these are, and I'm looking at it myself. These are under LED lights. So the the color you're seeing on the screen is LED light enhanced. So just so you know that. Yeah. If you bring if we brought all these out in natural light, it's gonna be a slightly different color. But so this is the shade you're looking at. Let's see. Wow. Thank you. Okay. All right, so that again is Bellwood. All right, let's see who's next, who's next. Um, let's go for this one. This is Cobblestone and this is gonna be interesting, okay? So I am going to compare it to Goddess Ashwagandha even though it's being discontinued only because we have a lot of goddess ashwagandha fans look at that so if you are grieving over the loss 
of goddess ashwagandha i think you're okay so let's compare it to oh i have a lot of colors to compare it to there's putty um cathedral taupe uh let's see sterling i think cathedral taupe is a little too what do you think it's in the beige side but it's good to look anyway so this is putty we're looking at cobblestone fusion's new one of 11 colors this one right here is goddess ashwagandha right here um here we've got we've got sterling sterling's pretty close also i'm gonna get rid of cathedral taupe i don't think that's very sterling's close. a little sterling's a little darker let's see hmm. yeah i think that's it so so here's cobblestone we've got sterling putty goddess ashwagandha bedford is much greener that's bedford i don't have a board for pebble but i wanted to grab it and pull it out just so you could see pebbles a little darker okay so this is cobblestone if you're looking for a very close proximity to goddess ashwagandha i think you'll be really happy with cobblestone right babe mm -hmm. all right let's see who's next who's dry who's dry so this is cashmere and um let's let's try goddess ashwagandha again so cashmere is a little whiter i want to try it with raw silk So here's raw silk, cashmere, here's champlain, there's limestone. So it is similar to a couple of colors. So this is um, cashmere, this new white, which I think is beautiful. So we've got Goddess Ashwagandha, which is a little grayer. Limestone, which is a little yellower. Raw silk, a little cooler, I think. This is a little warmer. And then we've got Champlain. All right, let's see who's next. Who's next? Sorry, guys. All right, let's do this blue. Paisley. Okay, so let's compare Paisley to a color we already looked at, which is blue pine. So paisley is obviously lighter. So let's look at paisley with champness and heirloom. Okay, so here we have blue pine we looked at already. This is paisley, okay? So let's compare Paisley to Champness and Heirloom. Heirloom is definitely greener. It definitely has a little teeny bit of green. They're similar. I think Champness is a bit darker. What do you think, honey? Yeah, Champness has a little more, I don't know, creamy color to it. Well, no, not really. And let's look at French eggshell. So French, French eggshell is greener, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's more of like a robin's egg. Anybody want us to look at any other colors with paisley? This is paisley. Just to put C uh, just do seaside just for <clears throat> just for kicks and giggles because I know it's darker. That's seaside. There you go. And this is homestead blue. Oh, little whale. Good call, little whale. All right, so we've got paisley with champness seaside which i think is yeah really it's just a darker off. one mm -hmm. um heirloom little whale and french eggshell so i mean we definitely have an array of light blues 
So, um, and Paisley is very pretty. Isn't it pretty, honey? Mm hmm Okay. All right, what's next? Who have we not looked at yet? All right, let's look back here at Chateau. So this is Chateau, okay? I wanna compare Chateau to Cashmere. So this is Cashmere and this is Chateau. Looks darker. Chateau is darker. Than it's got more yellow. It looks yellow, so yellowish. Let's look at cashmere and putty. Cashmere and. Turn this light down and see what happens. Cashmere and um, goddess ashwagandha. That's too dark. That's Bedford. Neutral taupe. Champlain and limestone. So limestone is really yellower. Okay. Putty is probably more of a gray as well as goddess ashwagandha. And then this one is Champlain. So I think it's closest to Champlain, but it's still a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Right, honey? Mm-hmm. I just want to see if I could find more silk again. Here it is. So this is raw silk. So I think raw silk is a little whiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that is Chateau. All right, Victorian lace is another white. Now this is a white white. So just, just so we can compare. Here's raw silk. Uh, and I think we really want to compare this to casement, which is right there. And picket fence. So clearly raw silk is more of a off white. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to take this out of here and look at picket fence and casement with they're, cl they're close. Um, I still think picket fence is the whitest. What mm -hmm. do you think? I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Victorian lace with picket fence. But not far off. No. Honestly. I'm shocked at how many whites there are anyway. Yeah. If you go honest, anywhere to buy paint. They're just honestly, <laughs> if, if, if you were painting something and you wanted a bright white, any three of any of these three, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we only have one left. Um, no, maybe we have, we have two. So this is mist, which I described as like a periwinkle. And I don't think there's anything quite like it. Let's look at um, Little Whale. So Little Whale is definitely going to be the closest, but this is more of a blue. And this has a tiny bit of like purple in it, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely. So that's Periwinkle. So if you're a purple fan, this is a cool new color. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's a nice, bright color. It would be pretty on its own or, you know, with white or, um, or gray. It would even look nice next to like a dark. Look at it next to midnight blue. Like if you were gonna. All right, I think we have one more. I think that the one left is this green right here. And, um, oh no, we didn't do hazelwood yet either. Okay, so this color is eucalyptus. So let's look at it with Bedford. Pretty close. I think this is a little greener. Uh, let's look at it with lichen, and I think lichen, so this falls between Bedford and lichen, and I just want to look at it with sacred sage, and I think sacred sage is greener. There's really nothing quite like sacred sage, which I guess is why people love it so much, because it's really, there's really no other color 
But that's not going away, is it? It is. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's one of these. Okay. I wasn't going to show those colors, but... You kind of have to. Because it's so popular, um, you know, I kind of felt like I had to. No, that doesn't go. Okay, so so this one is eucalyptus, and we're looking at it with Bedford and lichen, mm -hmm. if you find that helpful. All right, the last one we're going to look at is the darkest one, and this one is called... You could do some great blending with some of these, you know, combinations <laughs> yeah. of colors. This one's called Hazelwood. And when I first saw Hazelwood, I thought of Algonquin, but nah. it's really grayer. So let's look at Soapstone. So, um... It's a lighter gray. It's a lighter gray, but it's a very, very... Green gray elegant gray if that makes sense let's look at it i know we keep pulling this color out tonight but let's look at it with sacred sage aha no <laughs> it is you know it's funny this is darker but it has a similar feel it has a very this is this is a very very sophisticated color I like it very much. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I really like it. I think that, um, I, you know what? I'm going to go back and show you which ones are my favorites. Not that it matters what my favorites are, but if anybody's curious. Oh, so, where's Little Lamb? Where's Little Lamb? There's Little Lamb. There you go. Which happens to look great with it. Doesn't that look great? The little lamb and the, um, that's a, talk about a sophisticated look, right? Couldn't you see a mid-century piece with those two colors mm -hmm. together? So this is Hazelwood. Okay, we've got it. This is, um, Sacred Sage, which is being, dis which has been discontinued. I think I have about eight left. So if you want them. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Algonquin, Little Lamb, and Soapstone compared to Hazelwood. Okay. All right, so I'm going to tell you which ones are my favorite. I really, I love this Hazelwood. I'm going to just say it. I love it. Love it, love it. I could see this in any decor. I also like this blue pine a lot, like that a lot. I, I, I tend to like dark colors. Um, I really like all of them. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great evening. We'll see you soon.